Hey guys, so now I'm going to do a introduction on Flash websites. It's, I'm going to go through it semi-fast, so just email me or ask me if you have any questions. First, we're going to insert some layers. I have a main actions layer. Then we're going to want a content layer. We want a buttons layer. I like to have a background layer. Okay, and insert one more here logo <laughs> okay so go ahead and lock your actions layer and basically what we want to do is create your background basically how you want um, how you want your flash to look Here's the document properties. You can change the background color. Width and height. For now, we'll just leave that the same. I'm going to change the background color to black. It's uh, pretty common on flash sites. I'm going to go ahead and leave the frame rate to 12 frames per second because it's not going to be using a whole lot of animation at this point. Okay, so we have our background layer and this is pretty much all we're going to do for this for now. Uh, if you had a logo that you wanted to make, you could put that on the logo layer. So we'll go ahead and create a simple logo. Change the text size real quick here. Something that's kind of nice and stylish. Okay, and modify convert to symbol. Logo, and this should just be able to be a graphic. Unless you're doing some really heavy animation with it. But that should be fine. Okay, and then to make your buttons. What I use is the rectangle primitive tool because it allows me to round it out a little bit there. So okay, and then we'll do something like this. Highlight that whole thing and then modify convert to symbol and then go ahead and make that a button and we'll say um, button underscore bg that'll be the name for our button symbol now you're just going to want to drag a few more up onto the stage And we'll just say that our site ha only has three. Um, three pages on it. Okay. Now, if you double click on the button, it'll give you your up, over, and down states. If you click on the over, just go ahead and hit F6 for your new keyframe. F6 again on the down, and F6 on the hit. Now, if you want to change it when they rolled over it, um, what you do is select this, and then let's say that we wanted to make that a little bit darker. Or even, we'll say, red when they rolled over. Make that a little bit brighter. Okay. 
So now, if you click back on scene one, you can also double click off the stage to do that. You should have, when you test the movie, you should have a nice little rollover effect. And the reason that it just went to all of them is because you modified the symbol itself. All right. Now, I'm going to click on the button, name this one home underscore btn for button. Click on this one. We'll make this one about underscore btn. And this is giving it instance names. And contact underscore btn. Oh, so, all right, now we have our content layers. And what I'll do is I'll just do five frames. Then insert a new keyframe. Insert a new keyframe. Insert a new keyframe. And basically what you're going to want to do is hit F6 on all of these frames that you have anything on them so that it actually appears there. Now you're going to want to label these uh, frames and frame labeling. You just see the frame here and the frame label and brackets. Name this one home. Uh, come up click on this frame. This one will be about. And this one will be contact. Hmm. So now you have your frame levels. And for this, we'll go ahead and draw something. And then for this frame, we'll draw something a little bit different, just so you can see that it is something different. And then this one, we'll only draw stuff over here, so you can see everything going on. Okay, and go up to your actions layer, open up your actions window, and then type in stop so that the animation doesn't run automatically. And then you are going to want to click on this frame here and have a stop on it as well. Stop. Stop. Okay, so you should be good now. And now that we have all that, what we can do is we can wire up these buttons right here. To, oh, I'm sorry. We can wire up these buttons to go to these different frame levels. So let's go ahead and write the action script for that. You'll need to create a couple of event listeners and our names for our buttons or home underscore btn and then that and then add event listener and then what you're going to do is mouse event dot click and then comma the name of the function so and we'll make a function called home clicked in the parentheses, boom. And basically you're going to want to do this with all of them. So paste and whoop, in there. And then paste. And then just change this from home to about and this one to contact. 
I'll finish up real quick in the next video. Thanks for watching.